Shirley Orlando, and we're continuing with the Easy Breezy Ukulele Course Part 1, and this is Week 2, or Lesson 2, and we're going to get going right away. We're going to do a C chord, which is a freebie. Uh, one finger chord is, uh, I call a freebie, because all you have to do is remember where it's at. And then a G7 chord, which will be a little more difficult for you in the beginning. Just keep plugging at it, going back to it, going back to it, and going back to it. Don't give up on it, and then uh, we'll propel you forward from there. Okay, the C chord. You put your finger, your third finger, on the third fret of the first string. The first string, if you'll remember, is on the bottom. Okay? There's your C chord. For the G7 chord, I'm putting my first finger on the uh, first fret of the second string. Second finger is going on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger is going on the second fret of the first string. So here's your G7 chord. Marco's going to be showing you the page on this for the exercises so you'll be able to see more clearly what we're doing here. Now we're going to, to uh, practice the C chord to the G7 chord. And uh, it's very easy to go from the G7 to a C because you just slide the third finger up. You slide it up to a C. And then going back to the G7, you slide the third finger down to the second fret and then you put the first finger and the second finger in place. So we're going from G7 up to C, then slide back, and put the other two down. Okay, it'll take some getting on to here, so let's get, get to the exercises and start going in that direction. Okay, here we go. Uh, this first exercise says, please practice this exercise four times at each sitting. We'll do it a couple of times here, and you can play it four times at home. Starting with a C, and then a G7. We're going to go very slowly here. One, two, three, four. C. Slide back. G7. Slide up that third finger to C. Back to G7. And C. Go back to the C. Back to G7. Slide up to C. And back to G7 up to C. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, you're going to do that several times a day at home this week, right? Okay, now we're going to put all those chords together here. The only ones that's, the only one that's missing here are the A seventh and the D seventh chord, which we will learn in the next lesson, week three. Okay, so we're going to put together the four chords that you have learned so far, which are C, C7, F, and G7. Here we go. Starting with a C. Ready, strum, C, F, C, G7. And C, F, G7, and C, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Let's do that one more time now, starting with C, C. And C, two, three, four, one, 
when you're going from an F to a G7, pivot over, just pivot, keep the first finger in place and swing the other two over. F, swing it over, those two fingers, and C. Okay, let's uh, go on, and we're, I'm gonna show you a song that's gonna rescue you sometime at 10 o'clock at night. Now, have you ever had someone have a birthday and you got home late, you're tired, you eat your dinner, you're ready for bed, and you think, oh my gosh, I forgot so-and-so's birthday. I'm gonna teach you how to play a happy birthday, and you're gonna put a lot of emotion into it. And you'll be able to call someone up late in the day and say, I wanted to be the last one to wish you happy birthday. So this is in three quarter time, if you'll remember. Three quarter time and it's short, long, long is a strum. And uh, we're gonna start out with like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear someone. And you roll that chord back and forth. Happy birthday to you. You roll that chord. Okay, let's play it one more time. And then you're gonna, when you play it to someone, you play this a hundred times at home so that when you play it, you can go, happy birthday to you. Very animated. But right now we're gonna do it slow. Happy birthday to short, long, long. That's going to save your hide someday. Uh, call up your relatives and sing to the folks at home or whomever has a birthday. They're always appreciative of that phone call. Next song is Red River Valley. And that has the four chords in it too. It's got the C, the C7, the F, and the G7. And that is a, a fast four strum. If you remember the fast four is short, long, short, long. Okay. I'll sing from this and you start strumming on the word valley. From this valley they say you are going. We back to the chorus each time. I'm just going to sing the two verses and then we'll do the chorus one last time. But you will practice it at home and do the chorus after each verse. Won't you Yeah. Uh -huh. 
the way, these versions here of the lessons that we do here in the store are a little bit abbreviated. I've taken out a song here and there and uh, some information here and there because of time constraints. So uh, this is, next song is going to be the last one in this lesson and it's called You Are My Sunshine. Uh, it's a kind of a universal song and if you're going to memorize any tunes I would memorize this one. It's a happy song. It's a wonderful tune for the ukulele and people know this song. So if you're in a crowd anywhere or at a party or anything everyone will sing along. So here we go. You are my sunshine and this is in a fast four strum which is short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. I'll sing you are my and you start strumming at sunshine. There we go. You are my sunshine. to play the few songs that we played today. So the chords are C, C seventh, both of those are freebies, and only these two you'll have to really work on. F, then you swing over and play the G seventh. And sometimes they don't come in that order, F to G seventh. But anyway, you need to know the F chord and the G7 chord. I'd like to thank you for tuning in today and uh, strumming along with us and learning something new if you're a new player. So I appreciate that and if you ever get a chance to get down to Huntington Beach, California, come and see us. We'll treat you like royalty. All right. Uh, also, I want to mention to you what is a very important thing I'd like to give you, uh, if you uh, request it, the Easy Dozen Chord Chart. Uh, and we'll also include some Island Bazaar stickers when you buy the beginning ukulele flashcards. These are excellent. And they, I know you have a chord chart, but this is different. These are when you can sit, uh, sit across the room from someone and they show you these large chord symbols here, like a B7 and then turn it over and you know the fingering. So you should learn the chords by, uh, by flashcards and it will be a lot better for you to memorize them that way. So these are $12.95, but for our viewing audience, they'll be just $10. And Marco will put up on the screen how you go about sending that to my PayPal, and that's SureThings at AOL.com, S-H-I-R-T-H-I-N-G-S at AOL.com. $10, and in the memo area, we have to have your address, and we have to know 
uh, what you're asking for. So just say flashcards and then the address. I thank you very much. Keep on strumming. Don't give up. Uh, it's going to all fall in place. Mm -hmm.